Welcome to Resounded Glory here at Bishop Hartley High School where this week the Hawks are getting set to open the football season and their defense of the Division IV state title. I'm joined by Brad Birchfield, the head coach of the Hartley Hawks. Also, Jack Bachman is with me. He's a linebacker and Cameron Culver here. He's going to do a lot of running the football this year. Uh, and we're going to talk about this week's game. Toledo Central Catholic is going to be the opponent. But Brad, let's start with the fact that this is the first game in the defense of that state title. What happened last year was great, but that was last year. What have you been working on in your camp this year to get past that and get ready for that defense? Yeah, I don't know that we want to get past it. We want to use those lessons that we learned and embrace them. And I think that's what tradition means. You take what you learned from the past and use it to move forward and, and build those blocks on the tradition. Uh, it's certainly a new team and a new dynamic. And uh, uh, the chemistry is always being developed within the locker room, within the team. And you never truly know what you have till you get out there and face those adverse moments. Yeah, and you will find out what you have. But you have a good idea because of the track record of a lot of these players. If I were to ask you, just looking at it coming out of camp, how does this team compare to last year's team in the way of talent? Every year you lose seniors. Is, is this one just as talented? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, it's as talented a team as I could ever imagine having or ever hope to have. I mean, we've got a lot of veteran leadership. If there is a difference between this year and last year, uh, we probably have a few more veterans playing than we had last year. You know, some of these guys who are seniors now were juniors or were sophomores a year ago. Um, we certainly lost great seniors, but uh, you know, they paved the way for these guys coming up and uh, now it's their time. Well, Cameron, you have got to be one of the most uh, patient guys in the world, I guess, because you've been waiting to get on the field and playing the game for a long time. Last year you got hurt yes. in midseason. It was an injury that brought your season to a close. You had to watch your teammates go out and win the state title. How tough was it to be on the sidelines and not be able to be right in the fray and be a part of that? It was hard. It was hard just, like, watching them do something that I wish I was a part of. But, I mean, I couldn't just hang my head. I was still like a leader on the team. I just grew from it. And that really, that is the key. You're still a part of the team and you still want to be there and have that support and any any little thing you could help a guy with. Everybody sees things different. I'm sure you saw the game different from the sidelines than you do when you're actually in yes. the backfield. So all that, uh, any little help I would imagine that you just couldn't wait to give your teammates. Yes, um, just like being positive, even like if, you, if, if some adversity, being, for example, like if something bad happened on defense, if we fumble or something or cause a turnover, just like being a part of that moment is just special. Jack, last year you had a great season, over 100 tackles for you uh, on defense. When you look at your defense this year, they say defense wins championships, right? So how good is this defense? How good is this defense? I would say it's different than last year. Last year we were, I think, maybe bigger on defense. I think this year we're more, I don't know, well-rounded. So we've got new guys on the D-line uh, that haven't played as much, but I think we have enough experience to kind of wrap that all together. And we've got the athletes, we've got the guys. It's just going to be growing together. It's just going to be staying together one play at a time. Um, and that's kind of always our approach. It's never, we're going to shut them down every single play. We're just going to do what we can. Uh, we're going to keep going. Whatever they throw at us, we're going to see what we got and go from there. You guys have the great opportunity to be back-to-back -back state champs. I mean, you're, you guys are the ones at the top of the hill right now, and everybody wants to knock you off. What does that mean to you as a player? That's why we came here. You know, that's part of it. We, we've we done great things in the past, and that's we'll never forget that. But this is why we came here. We came here to be the best that we can every day whether that be we're on top or whether that be we're climbing to the top. So we'll take it in stride and it'll be tough and everyone's going to give us the best shot. So that's exciting and that's challenging and we're looking forward to it. So it's exciting. And Cameron, are you expecting to get that? You said about the best shot. you got to get the best shot coming up this week to get the season started. You looking forward to taking that shot? Yes, sir. It will be exciting. It will be exciting. A lot of adverse moments, but it's going to be a fight first quarter to the last. But yeah. I'm excited. Now, Coach, you're going up against a very good team uh, in Toledo Central Catholic, a team that was in the semis last year, Division Three. So uh, they're experienced, you're experienced. How do you see this game? What, what do you want to see the most out of your team in week one? You know, that's the beauty of week one is you just don't know what you have. You don't know how it's going to all come together. You think you know what you have, but you really don't know what the opponent has. I mean, they've got some incredible talent. 
Um, some explosive athletes, there's no question. They're as well coached as any team in the state of Ohio. I mean, they have some great, great pieces and a great, great tradition and an awesome team, but you just don't know how we match up. That's part of the excitement when you play a, a statewide schedule like we play. We play only the best of the best in Ohio, and that's the excitement is seeing how we match up with them. And guys, you're going to have to be road warriors this year because you only have a couple of home games. A lot of, a lot of these games are going to be on the road. Jack, what kind of a challenge is that going to be? We kind of embrace that. We've been in the program for three years, going on four, and it's kind of an us against the world mentality. So maybe we are the favorites or whatever, according to some people. We walk in kind of to every game, no matter where we're playing, with kind of a chip on our shoulder, and we're playing for each other. You know, that's, that's all that matters at the end of the day is that we don't care about individual accomplishments. Those are great. But we walk into the game, we're playing for the guy next to us, the guy behind us, and that's what gets us through. So no matter where we're playing, it's it's not really about that. It's about doing the best for the guy next to you. And if that works, that works. If it doesn't, we'll live. And Cameron, how much do you appreciate playing this kind of talent, especially right out of the gate in week one, to the fact that you get to take on the best of the best around the state? Um, it's okay. I'm, I'm excited, as I said in the past, but like we prepare for it all summer. So I think we're ready. I'm confident in the guys that I'm Next to, I'm confident in Jack. I trust him that he's going to do his job. He trusts me that I'm going to do mine. So I think it's, it's going to be exciting. I just can't wait. I'm anxious. And I've got to ask you about playing all those games on the road. You know, sometimes that can be more of a bonding experience, if you will, because what Jack said is kind of you against the world. Is that the, the kind of uh, way you want your team to embrace the schedule? Oh, absolutely. Listen, as a, as a teacher and a lover of our, of our great high school, I feel bad for the students that, you know, we're not at home as much as what we, what we were. But as a coach, I just love it because, it, it, as Jack said, it brings out the edge in us. And we're a team that has the edge on us all the time. And we, uh, um, as unbelievably as it sounds, we never feel like we get the respect we deserve. And we like that. And we want to always have that and play it on the road. And gosh, they've got a great home record. And their stadium is, is awesome. And we can't wait to play there. We can't wait to see if we're good enough uh, to beat them there. I've got to ask you, with these two guys sitting right here with us, how important are they going to be in your success? I mean, they're crucial. They are, I mean, Cameron's a three-year starter for us. Jack's a two-year starter, our leading tackler, three-year letterman. These are the leaders of our team. These are captains on our football team. Some of the best players I've ever played here. How excited are you? Because, you know, you go through this year after year, as I said earlier, with different types of teams based on the players, but is that first week still get your juices flowing? Uh, every week gets our juices going, there's no question. But this first week in particular, I'm as excited as I've ever been. I mean, when you play somebody as good as Toledo Central Catholic with the respect that they have across the state, uh, it puts you on edge the whole summer. I mean, it puts you on edge the whole winter. I mean, uh, there's signs in the weight room, beat Toledo Central Catholic, the countdown signs, and it, it brings out your best all year long. It doesn't just bring out your best Friday night, but it brings out your best in preparation. So the kids have done what we've asked them to do. Uh, we can't wait to tee it up. All right, so that gets you ready for week one. The varsity football schedule kicks off Friday at Toledo Central Catholic. Come back next week, and we'll do this week after week, preview, previewing each game, letting you know what's going on with the Hawks. Jack, Cameron, Coach, thank you very much. I'm Bob McElligot.